LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. Get live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks. Boy, boy, boy. We got another hater, Kat Zingano. Look, Kat Zingano, talking about she upset because, um, you know, Amanda Nunez was disrespectful of Ronda Rousey. Really? Really? Talking about, yeah, you're, uh, you're not petitioning for a rematch yet. Uh, cut the crap. Cut the crap, Kat. Cut the crap, Kat. That's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. You are petitioning for a rematch. Stop it. Because what's going to happen? I'm going to tell y'all something. And this may happen. If Kat Zingano run her mouth enough, if Kat Zingano run her mouth, she probably could get a rematch. And I'm just trying to tell y'all. Because I was looking over the roster the other day, and I said, who could they pick? What new golden girl could they pick to try to be champion? And I swear to I swear. I swear to Jehovah himself that I looked and I saw Kat Zingano name and I said, you know what? Kat Zingano is a, is, is a golden girl. Maybe if she dyed her hair blonde, it might work because here, you know, down here at the bottom, it's kind of red a little bit. Maybe she put a little blonde in there, man. She might go further. People, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all you can go on and get mad by these comments. It's the truth. Okay. I'm going to tell it the way. I'm going to tell it like it is. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to hear it, I'm going to tell it like it is. Okay? So let's go ahead and take that's Let's fast forward this thing. So Kat Zingano don't like what, uh, don't like what Amanda Nunes said at the interview, post-interview. Post what you mean you don't like what she said? She said she respect Ronda Rousey for paving the way in the women's division, but she said it's her time now. What was disrespectful about that? Nah, see, what it is, see, Kat Zingano knows she got a, a victory over Amanda Nunes. She already know. So what Kat Zingano is trying to do, she's going to use that to her leverage, okay? She's going she's gonna to use that to her leverage to say, you know what, I beat Amanda Nunes convincingly. I need to be in the octagon more than any of these other girls who, by the way, they've worked their way up. Who, Juliana Pena, okay, and uh, Valentina Shevchenko, they've worked their way up, okay, and they're deserving of that title shot. And I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to tell you now. If the UFC pushed this girl. And pushed this girl up those rankings. Like they did Holly. And like they did Ronda. Because let's face it. How the hell is Ronda Rousey. And we can say we know it's about money. We I, I know this. But technicality wise. I'm talking technicality wise. How is Ronda and Holly. You know how would they still rank that high. See I, you know. <laughs> Both of these two chicks, one where well, Ronda was 0-1-1 before she met Nunez, and Holly was 0-2, and, and she's still up there. She's still up there in the top five, which I'm sitting here, okay, but whatever, okay? Because we know what it is. I, I done already told y'all what it is. I done already told y'all what it is. That, that, that's just how it is. They're going to do that, okay? Now, back to you, Kat Zingano. Back to you. She didn't disrespect Ronda Rousey. And why do you care? Didn't Ronda try to break your arm in half? And then after Ronda, you know, put you in that arm bar, Ronda was over there gloating. So I'm trying to think, how are you going to stand up for somebody who definitely wouldn't stand up for you, wouldn't say two craps over crap about you, okay, except for lining, lining any of these girls up. You put them in here with me and I'll beat them. Ronda ain't really respect you all that much. Not that much. How you going to explain this, cat? How you going to explain this? And then let me tell y'all something. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, hold on. And you talking about she being ungrateful to the UFC? What the hell is she being ungrateful for? Oh, wait a minute. That they won't promote her. Oh, dang, dang, dang that, you know, she the new champion, but everybody seemed to want to talk about Ronda Rousey old stinking behind. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, you know, when Ronda Rousey would beat people easily, that same week, the exact same that Monday, sometimes Sunday, Ronda Rousey would be on a talk show talking about her victory. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, what is she being ungrateful for? Just uh, the UFC, you know, they're, they're, they're not even trying to highlight her. The, the main thing they want to talk about, well, not the UFC, but the media now. The main thing that the media want to talk about is her sexuality. Or the main thing that they want to talk about is how she looked. The main thing that they want to talk about is what is beauty when it comes to Amanda Nunes. You mean that being ungrateful? See, Kat Zingano, you sound like a damn fool right now. You sound like a fool, okay? And, and, and you know what? What is it with these chicks? What is it with these chicks, these hype jobs, okay? And y'all can say what you want. What is it with people like Kat Zingano? Look at that. I got this box around her. 
what is it with these women certain women they they talk to psychologists and it's like y'all just give the money away yeah man these psychologists know y'all mentally messed up look at that look, look, look at this dude down here smiling look, look at him he laughing yeah 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 silly ho i just got your money <laughs> yeah i just got your money <laughs> and you're making me famous <laughs> that's what he doing that's what he doing this already tells me right now you talking to psychologists <laughs> you still ain't got over that lost opinion a fight that you should have won a fight you should have won but you didn't because Pena took you to the ground and there was nothing you could do about it and you talked a lot of junk too you talked a lot of junk and you couldn't even back it up you couldn't see let me tell you cat the thing with some of you girls the ones of y'all that like to run y'all mouth and you always running your mouth about something okay cut it out because you know you can't back up what you say you can't ever do it you can never do it and see that's the thing that's the thing you step back in there with amanda this go around it's a wrap for you this version of amanda nunez gonna put you to sleep okay if you stand up with her this version of amanda's gonna put you to sleep now you might be successful in trying to take her down but i, I don't know i don't know i think her takedown defense has gotten better i think her speed is better i think her footwork is better I think there are a lot of things to this version. Amanda really right now is in her prime, and she's peaking right now. Okay? So, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I wouldn't be shocked, y'all. This won't surprise me if Kat Zingano gets a rematch. I, I, it won't shock me. It just won't. Because, look, don't try to say that, well, you know, Kat can't do that. Ronda did it. Oh, it's about the money. But Kat Zingano can be a moneymaker. Well, she got the right look. <laughs> she got the right look. I'm just trying to tell y'all. She got the right look. Cat need to shut up. Cat need to shut up. Work your way back up the ranking. Let, let's see. What does Cat Zingano rank? What does she rank? Let, let, let's look at this. Okay. Let's take a look at some of these rankings. Because I can tell you right now, buddy. I, I, I can tell y'all. You got people, man. <laughs> you got people still. Okay. Let's just take a look, okay? All right, well, Jessica, she, I don't know. I still think she ranked a lot high for losing all her last three fights. Okay, you got um, you got the bruiser. You know, she got a win over Duty Dude, Ava. She's supposed to move up. Um, Ashley Evans-Smith, you know, why she still ranked so low, okay? But, you know, then again, there's a questionable win here over Marion Raynaud, which I think she was robbed. And Marion should rightfully be up here, really, okay? Jermaine Deranda made one her last two. Liz Carmouche won her last two, okay? You got Alexis Davis now. She used to be good, and now she's getting beat up all over the place, okay? Uh, Betch Cohea. Why is Betch Cohea? Why in the hell is Betch Cohea ranked number nine? I, I don't I don't get this one. This is something I don't get, okay? Kat Zingano. How she ranked ahead of anybody? She done lost her last two, okay? Nah, she lost to Pena and Rousey. Those are two quality opponents, but, yeah, you know, Pena, Pena beat her. Okay, but, you know, she losing, okay? So, Kat Zingano's already ranked number eight. You know. Come on. She's ranked close enough. And then you got Rousey still ranked number four after losing? Okay? And maybe let me go to another uh, MMA site. Okay, let me go to another one, okay? Let's see if they're all consistent. All right, Valentina's ranked number two. Juliana Pena, she definitely should be three. I mean, Holly Holm, what, what, the, what, what, is, what is this, man? What is this? What is this? Holly, they, they're 0-2. 0-2. 0-2. In your last three wins, in your last three bouts, how are they still? Come on, folks. This, this is this is damn ridiculous. Okay, this is another this is another outlet, okay? Okay, Valentina Shevchenko. Okay, Juliana Pena. Okay, which, you know, I guess the champion is Amanda Nunes, so Valentina is the number one ranked contender. Juliana Pena is number two, which is what she should be rightfully ranked, okay? You still got Holly Holm right here, okay? Now, I'm still trying to figure out how is Holly and Ronda, how are they still ranked ahead of Raquel Pennington? I, I don't get that. And then they got Kat Zingano on this one. Now, this is the UFC's actual site. They got Kat Zingano, uh, okay? How was Kat ranked ahead of Liz Carmouche? You know, Liz Carmouche is what? Up, you know, she's up two fights. You know, she's up two fights. I mean, this this whole thing smells of a, a, a possum piss. This whole thing smells of possum piss. Okay? Everybody see what's going down, man. We, we know what's going down. But the thing of it is, 
what they're going to do, they're going to look for the next height job. And let's see, who, who could this height job be? Okay, let's point out a couple of height jobs who could probably, well, we already got two, okay? We got a height job right here in Ronda Rousey, okay? We got this one. Holly Holm has the look, so of course they're going to keep her high enough, and they're begging. They're hoping she beats Jermaine DeRandomay, because if she beats uh, Jermaine DeRandomay, I, I know some stuff going to go down. I can already tell you right now. People, that's how it is. Home, you can forget about. I, I can even see Home skipping past Juliana and Valentina. I, I'm trying to tell y'all. I see that happening, okay? All right. Then you got Rocky Pennington, who, you know, of course they do her dirty. And I need to probably do a story on Rocky, how bad they do her, okay? But, you know, and then you got Kat Zingano, who you can forget Rocky getting a title shot. They're going to push Kat Zingano. See, that? this is another one. Sarah McMahon, uh, you know, probably not one they're going to try to push too much. Ashley Evan Smith, yep, there's somebody they'll try to push. Absolutely, okay? So, I mean, you have it right here. You have it, and they're not going to push Leslie Smith. <laughs> they ain't going to push her, man, because Leslie Smith been talking too much. But, you know, that's just my thing, okay? Listen, it's all about money. And, of course, Kat Zingano can bring in some money. Eh, she, eh, she okay, average looking, but still, you know, you put a little makeup on her. You know, you put her in them little skimpy little outfits she like to wear. And guess what? Now you got people packing the house, watching the fight. Because Amanda Nunez ain't going to do that. That's just how it is, folks. That's how it is. Kat Zingano, you need to shut up, okay, and figure out who you fighting next. And see if you can beat them and see if you don't take another ass whooping. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe.